Hi, Wizzy Warfield, and um, today I just wanted to take a little bit of time to tell you a little bit of my story and how I got into real estate and where I am today, getting to do what I love. So um, I am a Texas girl, born in Texas. Um, my parents met in high school. My dad was a builder, and I grew up watching him build. My mom was a teacher, and um, she ended up marrying a CEO of a hospital, and so I learned a lot about healthcare and people. Um, helping other people that way, going to the nursing homes, seeing the people there, um, and just developing relationships. I'm from a very small town uh, called Glenrose. You've probably heard of it. It's a great place to visit. And um, I, I struggled as a kid just with school. And in general, I love people, but the school was never easy for me. And I was the type that wants to get out and go to every church camp and learn about everything. And so that was my joy. And so finally, when I was 13, I think I got to go to Virginia and the Blue Ridge Mountains. And I went away to a boarding school there for the summer and fell in love with it. It, it actually started challenging me. And um, I loved all the boys there because it wasn't all boys school. So when it was time to go back to eighth grade, I actually... Um, skipped a grade and went ahead and went to ninth grade and instead um, my grandfather who was a veteran and my grandmother who was in banking saw that I needed to be stretched a little bit more so they gave me the, a great opportunity I went to the Gunston boarding school and it was an all-girls school so um, definitely very different and something that just opened a lot of doors and people around the world to me so I got to go up to see Annapolis get to know the Navy get to know politics in DC and um, just a whole world up, into, up to me of people and what they were like, and I loved that. So that was um, four years of my high school and a very different average than your Texas small town, Glitton Rose, was that I came home to. Um, when I came back, I came back to Texas, Texas State University, loved it, loved child development, family and consumer sciences. I had a passion for learning about how families worked and kids and all of those things and how I could help people. And um, it gave me the opportunity to travel once again. So I jumped on that one and went to Sweden so I could learn how they did child development over there and how families lived. And I backpacked, did all the fun stuff, met people. And I learned that no matter where you go, families are just the same, housing's just the same, but um, there are always good people. So if you look for those good people, they're out there. And so I networked with those people a lot. Um, came back to Texas and got my degree. And as soon as I could, got on a plane and headed to South Korea to teach with my dog. Um, talk about, I've never been scared to go somewhere new. I was very independent. So I learned really fast that no matter where you go, there are different systems. You gotta figure out how to live there and get used to it. And so I quickly adapted to wherever I went. So I feel like that helps me now as a realtor because I'm like, anywhere you go, you're gonna learn different things. So I help those people coming to Texas. Um, so when I was in South Korea, I fell in love with the army base, had so much fun. And they're like, well, go get your teaching degree, come back, teach on the army base. And I was like, well, I'd love to help the army people. So I came back to Texas and I started early Head Start. I fell in love with the families. I did home visits for low income families and teenage moms and helped them work the system so they could take care of their little kids. And I fell in love with the families. I did that for a year and a half. And during that time, I fell in love with my husband. Ben Warfield. So he quickly married me so I didn't go overseas again. And um, we started a family. And that was the first time I kind of settled down. I'd always been traveling and going different places. And we bought a house and I started teaching. I taught everything from special needs to high school. I taught for 15 years. I taught in DeSoto and Rockwall and Frisco. And then I ended up in McKinney. And I decided that I always wanted to help people with their homes. That was something everywhere I went, I was helping you know people. So I got into real estate and I love teaching and I love that. Um, I love that I get to hear people's stories. Everybody has a story and they're looking for something and they have that to share with me. And so when they share their story and they share their vision, I get to put it all together and help them find a home and become part of that story if we become friends and everything like that. So that's a little bit of how I got into real estate. And I'm back in Texas, love Texas. Love that um, I get to introduce the Texas things to people who've never been here. And I can relate to all the wonderful places they've been a lot of the times because I've got to travel so much. Well, I can't wait to hear more of your story and talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye.